So hi, this is the second part to my video on how I went from BCC to AA in my A levels and this is the subject specific video. So I'll be elaborating on how I revised for chemistry, biology and maths. So for chemistry I did the A to A exam board and in the final exams I had three papers which were paper one which had inorganic and physical, second which had organic and physical, and third which had just everything but mostly practical stuff and a multiple choice at the end. So for chemistry, truly understand the content first and also do a lot of past papers and questions because those are what will help you in the actual exam. And last year I didn't do as many or I didn't do any past questions or past papers because I thought the syllabuses were different so there was no point in me doing it but do the past syllabus um, past papers because there are still questions which are relevant and which have appeared in my exam so do all those and just practice the chemistry and maths questions because the structure and the form of the questions are usually the same and they just change the numbers around so keep going at and just keep working at the chemistry and maths questions and make sure you ask if you don't understand anything in the question because it's usually going to or more likely to come up. For biology I also did the AQA exam board which had three exams at the end of the year, a bit similar to chemistry. But the first paper had all the AS stuff, second paper had all the A2 stuff, and the third paper had everything. I struggled a bit more in the second year of biology, and always the first tip is to understand all the content, because biology is content rich yet again, and if you don't understand one bit of the information, then that might roll over when you learn something else and it takes a bit of information from the information that you didn't understand and that's when you don't understand the second thing. So that rolls over and then you don't understand the whole topic. So always understand every bit of the information as you go along because there's a lot to remember in biology. And a lot about biology is just exam technique, so practicing a lot of past, past, past questions and papers. Because in my opinion, I think biology is basically reciting the mark scheme. Because without putting anything in the mark scheme, you can't get the marks. So even if you put stuff that resembles something in the mark scheme or resembles a word in the mark scheme you won't get the marks for it so you've got to do past papers to know what the keywords are to put down in an answer and to get marks so if you ever run out of resources i would recommend getting a workbook but i don't think that's necessary because there's a lot of past questions and papers out there and there's also this one useful i'll link this down in the description box below but there's this one um, on student room with this really helpful guy who's put in all the past questions of each topic in biology and he's uploaded them with the answers um, so I'll just put them down below. Um, for the workbooks I used mainly these ones. These ones from Harder Education. These ones and I did all of them. Um, I got the first years and the second year ones. I mean, I don't, I'm missing one right now. But they have two first year ones and two second year ones. So I thought these were really helpful and the answers online. So, and they have like exam style questions and practice questions to make sure that you touch on AO1 
AO2 and AO3. So like the factual recall, analysis, and um, stuff like that. And also, also on top of that, I had another workbook, which I do not recommend. I do not recommend this one. This one is really bad. Which was this one. I mean, it had a lot in it. It had a lot of information. But in terms of being a workbook, it was bad because it didn't really have exam style questions. All of it was more, mostly factual recall and some of it wasn't even relevant to the spec, so don't get this book. And it's expensive as well, so don't, don't get it. <laughs> it was a waste of my money, so. Also, there's exam style questions in your revision guides, the CGP ones, which you could do at the end of every topic which are quite helpful, they, they are quite like exam style questions, but I would always recommend going onto the AQA website and doing the past papers and questions. Remember to use your syllabus as a checklist. That's the most important thing, yet again, because it makes sure that you've learned everything in there. I mean, in my exam this year, there was this one question about ribosomes and what it was made out of and there's literally a line in here which tells you the answer so learn everything in the syllabuses. And with both subjects if you're ever tight on time or you don't know where to start in terms of revision always use a revision guide because it, and learn everything in it like even every, every little box you can find because they contain all the information that you need because they basically follow the syllabus and have all the necessary stuff you need about the extras. But obviously I don't recommend cramming ever, but that's just a tip if you're tight on time. So with maths I did the OCR board and um, I had to reset C1 and C2. I didn't bother resetting S1 because I didn't like it. And then I did C3, C4 and D1. And with maths it's really just a case of doing past papers. There's really not much else but when you do past papers you want to be, you want to make sure you know where you're going wrong and making sure like you actually learn from doing it. Don't just do the past papers, learn where your common mistakes are because I'm a high offender for making careless mistakes. So make sure you actually learn from those and make sure you don't do them again. And I would say something really helpful would be having tracking sheets like these. Yeah which have which date of the past paper you're doing and the marks and the grade you got and then percentage and also put some targets on like say where you went wrong and this will like probably make help you make sure that you don't commit the, make, the same mistakes again and you just want to practice past papers until you are super confident at it really there's really not much else I mean I had to just do loads and loads of past papers. I mean, especially for C3, I did it. I did loads for C3 because I wasn't really good at C3 at the time. And C4, I just didn't have a lot of time for, so I had to just do past papers for that as well. And I would say that if you, for like me with C4, I didn't have a lot of time left to do past papers because one, it was near exam time, and two, um, I couldn't actually finish a paper in time. So if you really are tight on time for math revision, I would say just do the exercises and make sure you're good at them. Like do all the exercises of every topic that you can. Like, especially if like topics you're not as good with, do loads of questions and exercises for those because that will definitely help you out. And that's 
that's really it for maths. It's not really much that I could say on how I went from a C to an A. I think the resets played a part in pulling up my grade, but I think also working hard this year to get good grades in my C3, C4 and D1. So some general advice and tips for all three of these subjects is to plan out how you're going to do your past papers. So say you're going to do five each month or something, or like once per week, and make sure you save some for exam time, especially like the more recent ones I would save for say like two weeks before the exam. So just to keep on top of like revision and make sure the information is fresh in your head. I mean, it, the past paper might not contain all the topics in it, but it'll help you refresh your memory. And also, finally, just keep working at it. Consistent memory recall. I mean, for chemistry and biology, I had these cards, which I call exam question cards, and which has the question on one side and the answers on the other side. And I would use like a memory recall, recall system like, like this, if you get like a, a letter box, I don't know what you call these, letter dividers, and um, put say this section is for cards that need to doing every day because you're not really good at it, like not good at those questions. And these are, this section is for after you've completed that card, you move it up. So then you do these, <coughs> you do these cards every other week or every other day. And then once you completed it every other day, then put a move it up and then do this, do these cards every other week. So then you get like a consistent memory recall. Um, and that helps keep answers to questions fresh in your mind. And you don't even have to spend that much time on everything. You could spend just like an hour or two every day. You don't have to spend like four or six hours or something. Just like spend one or two hours, okay? And just read through the information, make sure you understand it, do a few questions, and that could be it. It just helps, you know, keeps the memory, uh, keeps the information fresh in your head. Just keep working at it and I'm sure that you'll do well in your final exams. So I hope these videos were a helpful resource and um, uh, if you've got any questions or anything just comment down below and I'll try and answer them for you and thanks for watching.